Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This is an Acer Spin 3, the exact model is an Acer Spin 3 SP314-21. And in this video I'm going to take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for your laptop. If yours is not holding up anymore, charge you, it's just discharging really quickly, then you might want to replace it. Just remember by replacing the battery, you're not going to remove, uh, change any configuration in the laptop, everything's going to be left the way that you had it before. I'm going to give you a good tip at the end of the video, how to supposed to keep your battery held at the best performance state possible. And so you should be doing that once every couple of months. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. You want to grab it with a screwdriver set. We're going to use a Phillips number one. This is an iFix screwdriver set I purchased. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool. If not, get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable for opening cases and covers. All right, down here, we're going to remove all the screws that we see. The one in the middle, back to everything. The one in the front row, all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove them and keep them in a single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right. Once we remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool, and you're going to start from the front corner. You're going to stick the opening tool in between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. I see. It focuses here. Now, what you want to do, you just want to twist, and you want to hear that click tab. You want to do that all around in the front end. Go like this, and you want to hit those tiny clicks down so that the clips are getting loose enough. You want to work yourself. I'm missing about two or three millimeters of the guitar pick. I'm not seeing the whole thing in there. And go to the back corner, to the back grill. Go to the other corner, and that's it. Now you can put it down and just grab it, wiggle it around a little bit. And you will release the rest. And there we have it in the bottom down here. Okay, right away we can see the big huge battery. This is one, two, three cell battery. The uh, model number is an AP18C8K. All right. This is an 11.25 volt. Charging volt is at 13. Uh, 4,471 milliamp hour battery, 50 watt hour. All right, to remove this one is only held down by two screws, one right there and one right here. Before disconnecting it, we're going to remove these two screws. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about it again. Just matching them, put them in one side. Now we can lift it up from here, bring it up a little bit. You might have a little, uh, I've seen some models have a um, gaffer's tape over here. You want to remove any black tape, anything you have over here. Bring it up, put it to one side. There's a gaffer's tape right here. Now, what you want to do, you don't want to yank on the cable. You want to put your fingers on the side of the jack and pull it towards yourself evenly, straight. So don't put sideways. Just make sure you pull it evenly. And there's your battery. It's pretty dirty, this one. Look at that. All right. So what you want to do here is to grab the new one in. Make sure all the new ones, they come with the cable in here. Make sure the cable orientation, the side, the pinholes, everything matches. You have the right one. You want to put, before you put it down in the spot in there, I will recommend you to put it in an offset position just like that, so you have a better space to work with the connector. You want to make sure the connector stays in front of the jack straight, and then you just want to pinch it straight inside, goes evenly inward. So you don't want to go sideways in, you want to go straight in. All right, once you have that one in there, you want to put the back end of the battery down in here, drop it down and put the two screws that you removed, one on each side. Now once you're done with this one, you can just grab the top cover, put it down, you squeeze the corner, the front, make sure you hear those nice big click sounds, that's what you want to hear all around. And then to finish it up is just putting the bottom screws in place. Now regarding the new battery on the laptop, once you have the new battery plugged in, uh, you put the laptop back together, you do not want to power it on right away. If you do power it on right away, just turn it off as soon as you can, quickly, and connect the charger, let it sit down and charge for at least 
three to four hours. After three to four hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected, and you want to drain the battery is slowly bringing down the brightness of the screen down to 50%, put some light work, don't put any heavy load, stuff like that, so it is slowly discharged down to 20% or whatever lowers that you can get. After that, you wanna power off the laptop and while it's off, you wanna plug in the charger again for another four to five hours. After that, you can just power it on as you wish while connected or not. That uh, initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new battery and you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its peak performance state possible. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.